unless in this video we'll see three other important uh, toolbars which are available in the AutoCAD software. We are discussing about AutoCAD 2007 version. So these are the three toolbars which are very much important for drawing simple solid shapes. So one is modeling toolbar, second one is view toolbar, third one is visual styles toolbar. If these are not available with you, what you can do is that on the toolbar space, you can click right here. Then in the ACAD option, you can select the toolbars like modeling, view and visual styles. These three toolbars can be selected at this point. So we'll see what are the things available in these toolbars. If you see in the modeling toolbar, we have options like polysolid, box, wedge, cone, sphere, cylinder, torus, pyramid, helix. In this way, these are all the simple solid shapes which can be obtained by using this modeling tool. Also, we have options like extrude, we have press pull, and we have sweep option, and we have revolve option. In this way, we have different other options also. Also, there are union, subtract, and intersect for connecting between the solids. So this is about the modeling toolbar. Coming to the view toolbar, in the view toolbar, you have different views available here. So first one is top view, second one is bottom, left, right, front, back. These are all the views which are there. Also we have southwest isometric, southeast isometric, northeast isometric and northwest isometric. So if you talk about top view, this is the basic view where the AutoCAD version will be showing you when you are drawing something. So if you are drawing anything on the screen by opening the AutoCAD, that means that by default you are drawing it in the top view only. So coming to the other views, if you are changing to the other views, the X, Y, Z also will be added. The Z component also will be added. So something like if you go to the isometric view, southwest isometric view, you can see the uh, this thing is also having X direction, Y direction as well as the Z direction also. So this is the importance of the view tool. Coming to the visual styles toolbar, we have wireframe model. This is the basic model which you are drawing something. Also we have something like, uh, um, this one is a 3D wireframe visual style and next 3D hidden visual style and realistic and conceptual these are the basic type of views which are available to you so when you're drawing solid it will be some it will be shown with the lines when you are talking it in a 2d wireframe it will be like lines only if you want to have it more conceptual way like outside how it will be if you want to look it in such a way then you can go for the conceptual video also like realistic also we'll do the same whereas coming to the 3d hidden visual style only the uh, un unnecessarily backside whatever those things are there will not be visible to us so that is why it is called as hidden whatever is visible to you from this side only will be looking so even in the 3D wide frame visual style also will be rather having the same type of thing. So that is about these important toolbars which is there. We'll see one by one in this video. So I'm keeping these back in their positions. Now. Let us see one by one. So if you, if you want to draw say something like a spear. If you want to draw say something like a spear then what you'll do is that you'll go to the one first let us go to the top view let us go to the top view then we can select the spear here directly if you select the spear what is it asking it is asking specify center point so say i'm giving some center point at this point then it will ask you radius so radius of the spear or we can give the diameter by pressing d enter here i want to give radius only say supposing i'm giving 50 mm as radius here so i'll press 50 and press enter therefore this is the top view of the spear which is having a radius of 50 diameter you can see it in uh, front view also like this it will be showing or you can see it in uh, southwest isometric view it will be something like this you can say xyz directions here but it is not looking like a spear right if you want to visualize it perfectly then you can go for the conceptual type see this is the conceptual type so you can see it like this so this is a spear this is how you draw a spear very easily by using modeling toolbar so that is about spear in the next videos we'll see about remaining cone uh, pyramid and all these things we'll see in the next videos